welcome to no enemies. Welcome to No Enemies Here, the show where spontaneity is the crux of it. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I, I can't rehearse this. I've rehearsed enough in my life. Trust me. I've rehearsed probably more than a lot of people. Anyways. Okay, so I've got some news. I've got some Facebook news. I've got some news. I've got some news I can't say. You know what I mean? It's not just Volko and uh, uh, Jason Matthews and Mark Herman that uh, have to sign non uh, non descript. What do you call it? Non disclosure. Uh, it's a whatever. It's a paper. Anyways, I was told by a a good source that uh, a couple of companies are being sold. I'm not gonna name any company. I'm not gonna name my source because. <laughs> No, no good journalist or good cop gives away his source, man. You gotta be stupid. Anyways, uh, other than that, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm feeling so much better in terms of energy. You know, it's gotta be the winter. The winter does it to me. You know, this the sad syndrome, the seasonal affective disorder. Bah! It's for it's a super. A Dan, that's what sad means. Whatever, what, uh, what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to be attending uh, the 28th of December. I'm going to a, a con because we have a con every month here in Montreal called Stack Academy. And first of all, the brain power that's there is ridiculous. Okay, and what I'm doing, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this is I'm organizing a Memoir 44. You know why Memoir 44? Because I've played it before. It's not a new game to me. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'm introducing, I'm uh, hosting a, uh, a big Overlord scenario. So that's eight people in Memoir 44. I gotta get eight people before December 28th. Carl might be skiing. Uh, Marc Rodrigue, you know, the most handsome designer in the world, is relaxing with his pipe, his cat, and his fireplace. So, I'm not going to deny a man that. No way. No way. So, I need other people. I know uh, Le the Leonidas of ASL, George Yotis. I'm trying to get him there, but George's a family man. I respect that 100%. And the thing is, is that George... I, don't, I haven't seen much ASL at Stack. Maybe we need a guy like George at Stack to create an ASL membership group thing. Click. Cult. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing that, and I'm going to be taking pictures, yes. And I'm there to play, man. Not to work, but I, come on. i got to take pictures, you know, because I am who I am. So I'm just going to go through a few pictures here show you what stack is all about and uh here the first one is jason matthews and marco putri man marco putri is the guy i know him as a um uh, what do you call him a uh, developer but i'm sure he's got some games in his head that i don't know of and the other guy jason matthew well you know he did some card game and there's me looking very professional and uh, star-like at Stack. We're outside here on the rooftop in Montreal. Do you know how much you would pay to, to stay on a rooftop in downtown Montreal? Well, I'm there. Anyways. And here's this other picture of, uh, well, two big guys and one skinny guy. The skinny guy is uh, Marco Putri. The big, big guy is Kevin Bertram. And the other superstar-looking guy is me. Lots of fun. And here we have the, uh, the, 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 the mobster of wargaming, Karl Paradzi. Uh, brain power there. That's just ridiculous. Look at the brain power we just went through. Uh, Jason Matthews, uh, Marco Putri, uh, Kevin Bertram, uh, uh, Karl Paradzi, for God's sake, who's next? Well, who's next? Marc Rodrigue, the most handsome designer in the world. Look at him. This guy's a... Uh, He's a 
He's a good Quebecer, man. He's a good Quebecer. Are there any bad Quebecers? Of course there are. Next is our Grand Puba of Stack itself. Um, Mark Gannett. He's the guy who organizes everything, keeps in touch with me, lets me know what's going on. You know, uh, gives me the rah-rahs, you know? Good guy. And then we, again, we have Marco Poutre, you know, playing a game. And then we have, and I always get Jean-Francois, I think is, a, for God's sakes, it's, it's ADD. That's what happens. And uh, uh, Sebastien, man. And we know what game, you know, goes well. Ah, look at that, Trump game. Come on, we can play anything here. And there they are again, you know, discussing like the deal. The deal. And then on the net, on, on, on the Facebook, I saw a few things that are that were pretty cool. Um, this uh, front towards enemy doorbell. I love it. I love it. I mean, I love people, but stay away from me. You know what I'm saying? And here we have a picture of uh, Bobby Nunez, Bobby Factor. Um, God, I got attached to this guy, and all it took was one conversation. That's the type of guy I think he was. I didn't know him, but you were instantly attracted to a guy like this. Um, full of energy. Um, it... I, I was glad to know him. Uh, I swear to God, it brings tears to my eyes. And um, whoever knew Bobby knows exactly what I'm saying. What a what a what a great person to have known in a short time in my life. Thanks, Bob. And here we have uh, a Kai Jensen uh, uh, joke or not. She designed some heavily buckage scenario for uh, combat commander and there's the map look at the map remember it is a tactical game look at the map where are you gonna go that's all and there we have the the the, the, the farmer's aid i mean the player's aid and we have grant looking looking very very professor like and to your uh, left completely, there's some guy who always sticks his face in. There's some English guy. And then we have uh, another gentleman I don't know of. Then we have uh, Mark Herman. <clears throat> you got to meet Mark Herman once in your life. You're a gamer. You're a war gamer. If you don't meet Mark Herman, you've missed something. And then look, look at that. Battle Commander Especial in a box, a wooden box, and I'm getting one. <laughs> Are you? Hurry up. Hurry up. There's going to be some sort of a uh, launch, a Kickstarter launch, or has it been launched? I, I, I don't know. I'm all over the place with the news. I'm a one person. What do you want me to do? And that's why you come here to get the news. So that's it for Battle Commander. That is Karl Paradzi's uh, first game in the Battle Commander series. And um, I think this is going to go well. Also, a game that I enjoy playing, that I've enjoyed... I've enjoyed... Played? That I have enjoyed playing, yes? Red Menace, World War III in 1959. It's arcade. It's a spawn thing. Um, it's, it's just fun. Okay, it's silly fun, and uh, the, the, the subject is right. You know what I'm saying? It's great. And here, uh, look, 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 look at this guy. This guy, Carl Greeter. He's playing, te he's play testing House Divided, 5th edition. He says, not looking good for the Confederates in the West, but Lee just showed up. First of all, Carl Greeter, who is this guy, and what does he know about games? Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the uh, the Facebook just uh, gives me random uh, posts. And then we have Raymond Fiori. Raymond Fiori. Like, Ray. Raymond is not very Italian. Huh? Come on, Ray. He's got two games happening here. All right. So he says he had a long conversation with Bill Thomas at Expo last week. Bill's working him hard. 
we decided that it would be better to put Cactus Air Force on hold at this time in favor of releasing Chopper Pilot Vietnam first. All right, okay, so Cactus is completed, just needs to go through a few more in-house reviews. He says, my self-imposed deadline for Chopper Pilot is to have it turned into Compass by next April. Thank you for your understanding. Ray, we understand, just get the game out, manage. And um, I think that's it for my, for my Facebooks. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, look. Everything's cool. I'm going to be going to Stack Academy December 28th. I'm getting Overlord uh, delivered today from Amazon. And I decided, what the hell? You know, why not be a completionist? And buy the, the air pack. So I bought the air pack. It was uh, down from 70 to 50 bucks Canadian. You know, that's like two bucks American. I, 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 I went for it. Okay, so I'm broke. So the credit card goes up. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So have a have a great show and uh, relax. I know some of you grognards that don't watch this show that sometimes comes back thinking like hey maybe it's gonna be a you know a heavy grog nerd show hey a and you ask me like is it is this gonna be another show it's always a show like this always it'll always be i can't help but thespianize if you can say that and uh, i was gonna say i was gonna say something oh yeah um who was it there was a, a grant uh, uh, from the Players Aid and uh, Artie. They were at the San Diego Histcon, and they were together chatting. And I guess some some uh, other gamer came up to them and asked them, "Is is Danny really that crazy?" Yes, I am! Here at Noble Knight Games, we've been carefully growing the world's largest selection of tabletop games going on 25 years now. From fresh pick new releases to finely aged vintage classics and hard to find imports, you can buy, sell, trade, and play with us at our store in Fitchburg, Wisconsin. Or shop online 24 7 from anywhere in the world, just like nature intended. Growing fresh daily at Noble Knight Games. Well, here we go with the crux of the show. The real crux, you know? <clears throat> Who else but ID Jester? I don't know if this is the, the, the one he sent me or, the, or the, 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 the screenshot I took yesterday. I don't know, ID. I'm all messed up. ID Jester has eight and more videos. I mean, seriously. He's playing a Red Cathedral twice, Comancheria uh, once, um, Command and Colors, he's tearing the shrink, actually he's tearing the shrink of Comancheria. He's playing France 40 solo, then he plays Magneto, but he doesn't play, it's tear the shrink there. Tear the shrink again with the Night Cage, Shrieking Hollow, okay, and then Discordia by Magna, or Discordia Magna, tear the shrink. All this is happening on ID Jester. Don't say I didn't say so. And there he is. God, I keep forgetting his name, but he's the he he he's the the the, the uh, designer of uh, Red Dust Rebellion, three minute board games. And he says, "How many board games can you fit in a handbag?" I don't know. I don't carry a handbag. Oops. <laughs> Scusi. Aaron plays three videos. Into the Woods, Great Battles of the American Civil War, Shiloh, April 6th, 1862, episode 55, and then he, a channel update for November, and Aaron Armour, Thermopylae, opposed playthrough, episode 1, game turns 1 to 4 on Aaron Plays. Advanced squad leader spotting around, look at this. My God, um, you know, it just looks like 
one sheet. I mean, I, I can't... There's no detail there for me in my brain, but it's full of detail. Anyways, it's Red Factories, 23rd October, 1942, ASL game, and it's played by advanced squad leader, Spotting Rounds. Agil Agility Snips Gaming Table, two videos of the same subject, Comancheria, playthrough, take two, Rise and Fall, part five and six. Amass Games. Four videos, Dominant Species, Long Heavy, Board Game Evolution, GMT, plus Daybreak, E-Mission, Dice Distancing 109, How Far Do Dice Roll? As far as you can whip it. Anyways, then How to Play Dominant Species, and 10, top 10 different board games on Amass Games this week. <laughs> Andrew Chung, four videos. All of them are on Undaunted Normandy, a game by Trevor Benjamin and David Thompson. And it's Hill 314. That's the scenario. And playthrough parts two to four and conclusion on Andrew Chung's channel. Artie of Art Wolf Slayer, two videos and more, obviously. Uh, Counter Clipping Episode 199, Science Fiction War Games, plus GMT News and more. And then it's that shit show with Dan and Artie. I'm Dan. And uh, we spoke with uh, Steve from Blue Panther. Who's Steve from Blue Panther? Who's Blue Panther? Go check it out. You got games by Blue Panther. Trust me. Illuminating Rounds, ASL Scenario Archive. IR-110, hit, hit it, and quit it. AP-193. Jurgen, George, if we see each other, the Leonidas of ASL, if we see each other, you're going to have to explain to me all these little uh, shortened things like AP-193. What's AP? Anti-personnel. You know what I'm saying? The Chief and Bonding with Board Games. What's happening here? The Chief and Bonding with Board Games has Purple Haze and is reviewing Purple Haze from Phalanx Games. And that's what's going on on Bonding with Board Games and RPGs. We have Buckles Piffle. Three videos on the same subject. And it's, a turn, it's Victory in the Pacific and War at Sea. Turns 3B, 4A, and 4B. Yes, we work in cases here. That's right. The man famously known as Callendale Enrico Biglino. Three videos. One of them is on Wellington's Victory 6, then the Social Animal Book Discussion. And then Wellington Victory number 7. All this on Callendale's channel this week. Or I should say last week. There he is, Carl Walmsley, Trench Crusade. Three awesome wargaming worlds on Carl Walmsley's channel. For the fourth and final Wednesday in November 2024, Seek Out and Play presents the monthly Speak Out and Play podcast. In this episode, I will reveal my five favorite Warfighter World War II expansions. These are not what I consider to be the best, so much as my go-to expansions when playing Warfighter World War II by DVG. In addition, I will discuss what's in the works for the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel, briefly go over some changes for the future of the channel, and reveal the videos that will be released for December of 2024, all on Speak Out and Play. Check out more videos when you subscribe to the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. In addition, there is a monthly Speak Out and Play podcast, which you can find on Buzzsprout and Spotify. For just $2 per month, you can support the channel by becoming a Patreon member and see the videos and podcast 48 to 72 hours in advance. At least one new video is released every week on the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel, so I will see you next Wednesday. 
Chris Yates, two videos, The Second World War by One Small Step Part 1, and Part 2 on Chris Yates' channel. Brandt of the Armchair Dragoon Presents mentioned in Dispatches, and it's Season 13, Episode 11, Forex in Space. That's what he wanted, and that's what I gave him. That inflection. Eric's Table, Napoleonic Battles, three videos, tactic talk, artillery. And you know what? I, I think I'm getting into Napoleonics. Like, yeah. And then there's BAR Battle of Zorndorf, 1757, and live stream La Bataille de Moscow, 1812, the Moscow. 1812, 10, 20, turn, part two. You see? Specifics. And there she is, the beautiful Denver from Flying Pig Games is turning the flank set up Pipe Creek Scenario number one, a game by Claude Whalen. The Shiv Gaming with E.R. Bickford, Earl. Three video of uh, four videos all on Italian Ottoman War. And it's 1911 to 1912's parts three through six on the Shiv's channel, Gaming with Earl Bickford. There he is, the Leonidas of ASL, Operation Charnwood, playtest initial thoughts, uh, Ticanis, uh, George Kala, and um, well, that's it, the Faristol. George Yotis. And there they are. The Luke and the Rachel Billingsleys. And it's GMT DR. GMT LDR. LDR. God. Okay. November 20, 24. Customer update on GMT Talk. X to X. Three videos. Antietam burnished rope steel. Final after action report. Then Chancellorsville was so looking forward to this. And campaign in the valley. Seagull scenario. Yeah, on Hex to Hex. Hex then countered three videos. Two videos on Hearts and Mind by Compass Games. Gameplay parts one and two. And then a game by White Dog Games called Viva Mexico. A first look on Hex and countered. The Great Channel that is History Hustle. Blitzkrieg 1940 versus Battle of the Bulge 1944. Crossing the Ardennes. Ah, he's making a comparison. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Say, why did they lose then? And uh, what the hell? Why did they win there? And, uh, well, one is uh, the French against the Germans. The other one's just the Germans against the Americans. You know what I'm saying? It's my two cents. My fr my favorite Frenchy Freddy Fred Serval is with <laughs> Gian Maria and Alex Yeast game. Alex, Alex Yeast. There's something wrong about that Alex Yeast games. You know what I'm saying? Not that nothing wrong with the name, but anyways. On Omo Rudens, it's brewing magic, exploring moonlight brewers on Kickstarter. Okay. I'm sure this has something to do with war, not beer. On! Omo Rudens. Respect! Jim Ozorksky. Three videos. Operation Charnwood. Battle for La Bijude. And then the great Midgard. Stumble through. Well, I don't know, he stumbled through for four hours. Then the Battle of Wagram. Or Wagram for bloody big battles. Eh? On Jim Ozorksky. The minister, that is Joel Toppin. Resilience inside the game. Okay, so this is a game designed by Patrick Ruschman, Ruschman, and it's by I don't know games. I can't see it. I've never heard of it. Uh, well, that's what's happening on Joel Toppin's game. <laughs> I got no time to play a game.
Why is it so bright in here? Where's everybody? He's too busy. <laughs> Shut. When you're too busy, you can play smaller games. Like this one over here. Panzer Strike, France, 1944. It's a pocket game. Let me show you. This is a father and son team from Serbia. I got in touch with them and they sent me this game. It's a Predrag and Dragan Lazovic from a company called Forsage Games, if I'm not mistaken. And it's a little tank game that you, you can play anywhere. The, the, the board game is modular. There's little tanks and uh, there's even, there, the, you're going to learn line of sight. You're going to learn the uh, combat results table. And uh, it's just a small footprint. Easy game to learn. You got time. These are the rules. Look, I'm going to teach you the CRT table, combat results table, in seconds. So if you look on the complete left-hand side, which tank you have? You have the Tiger. Well, his speed is, N means speed, the number you're going to roll, how many dice? Minus two. So if you roll six, you move four. And that's it. And you're going to see, going right, armor, front, side, and rear. Well, if you get hit by the front, it's 10 defense, side eight, rear eight, and you have four firepower. That means you can roll four dice, and if they get your tank, it's worth three. Wow, well, that seems easy enough. I could play this game while making my prosciutto. I like prosciutto. Yeah, you look like a prosciutto. It makes me think of Pyramid Head from Silent Hill on PS3. But he's prosciutto head. Another easy-peasy, fast-playing game. If you have three players, you can play this game. It's called La Résistance. And what is La Résistance? Well, it's a band of partisans in Nazi-occupied France, and you gotta win 12 glory points to win. How do you win 12 glory points? Well, you gotta beat the Bosch. Who are the Bosch? The Nazis! Grandma! What did you do in Paris? What games did you play when you were young? <coughs> How do you win the 12 glory points? Well, you gotta beat the Germans. How do you beat the Germans? Well, on the left side of the card, there's dice. You gotta up those dice. You gotta beat those dice, and you get what's on the right-hand side of the card. That's it. Easy peasy. And you know what? Because of Simon Segway, that's why I love playing war games. Because of heroes like that. See you next week. And for our Spanish viewers, Jose Luis, Julius Fairfax, that is, Berlin 45, La Caida del Restag, like the fall, okay, La Caduta in Italian, so La Caida, La Caida. So I'm learning something every day. Thanks. On Julius Fairfax. I'm talking about learning something every day. Kilroy was here. Four videos, Kilroy's deep dive. World War I Strategic Games, plus Coffee with Kilroy, my favorite segment, Paizo's 2024 Catalog, and Coffee with Kilroy, Knights of Destiny, an Arthurian quest, or Arthurian quest for the Grail, and then the Battle of Vice Fork, or Wise Fork. I don't know where that was. It's an after-action report. I don't know where that was fought, but it looks... A little bit Civil War-ish. It's the Second Battle of mm, Kingston. Sorry. Sorry, I can't see it. But that's what's happening on Kilroy was here. That fantastic channel, Legendary Tactics, Twilight Imperium 4th Edition Faction Matchmaker. Then Ark Nova, a, a game about building a zoo. And then Red Dust Rebellion, a Martian Chronicle on Legendary Tactics. Ian Heinemann of the Let's Play History. Eight videos, obviously. And it's uh, Gefecht der Verbundenen Waffen. Okay, over the hills, number three. So it's Armored Brigade. And then he plays through Operation Bowling Bank. Solitaire War Game playthrough. And then Fields of Glory. Going back to Operation Bowling Bank. Shooting rockets. Eek. Same thing. Fire at Will, Operation Bonin Bank. I'm so, I hope I'm saying it right. And uh, then Armored Brigade 2, 
Bowling Bank and Fields of Glory. That's all happening on Let's Play History. You want stuff? We got stuff. The man who looks like a vampire, Mark Felton of Mark Felton Production, has two videos and can Russia attack Britain? Of course they can. What a conventional attack might look like. Stupid. That's what it's going to look like. And then Nazi bandit invading German, ger invading Germany, Hermann Göring's revenge. What a tit. God, this guy thought he was like, going to rule the world, man. Or be beside the guy who's going to rule the I mean, seriously? Do people get to that point? I guess they do. The war game artist Matt White War Games reviews a, a wing over the sea. This is a game by Gotardo Zancani. I love Gotardo's games. There's something about Gotardo, which that's a wicked first name. I mean, can you imagine? Gotardo. It could be... That name could be used in many, 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 many different scenes in a movie. A love scene, oh, Gotardo. Or a horror scene, Gotardo is here. See what I'm saying? All right, that's what's happening on Matt White War Games. Mo of Mo's Game Table is taking a look at a game published by Sound of Drums, the same company that Karl Paradzi does his Commander, Battle Commander, Volume 1, series is going to be happening and this is an assault game game and it's called assault sicily 43 get a beachhead that's a nice shot of a sherman Ah, eh, sherman always look good look good look good my own worst enemy one video and it's mr madsen's or madison's war the incredible war of 1812 look it's fought around my area that's where i live around you know what I'm saying? It's not far. What the hell? Huh? Like, come on, man. And Gava Bay, Georgian Bay. Ah, come on, I've been there. Bloody cold up there. Lots of fish, though. On my own worst enemy. Nanguaya, one video. Nangui. Come on, man. Getting the ball rolling with the Germans starting off the January 1st to 4th, 1915 turn. Holy moly! Bloody hell! I'm sure you got no cats, no nothing, because you wouldn't leave that on the table. Now would you? No. Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials, Scenario Number 6, Grant Moves West, Thunder on the Mississippi! Yeah, a playthrough. On Patrick's Tactics and Tutorial. Look at that cover. Love it. Point Dexter Games. Come on. Western Front Ace. The French Patrol 25 and 26. He's still happening, man. He hasn't been shot down. All this on Point Dexter Games. Prasuta Goose, the Orwell War Gamer, plays a Battle of the Bulge game by Tiny Battle Publishing, designed by Brian Train called Winter Thunder, and this is an unbagging. I have that game. On Pushing Cardboard, more aggressive attitude unboxing the 1862 Virginia campaign, a John Thiessen design published by Spieler. And look at these two guys that could be brothers, Ruffy and Tony, and Ruffy Swordsman Wargamer, the Tony and Ruff livestream of Panzer, Part three, <coughs> excuse me, I gotta watch this man. Really, I wanna see how many uh, extra, from the basic game, how many extra um, rules they add in, because this game, I've never seen a more modular game in terms of rules, take what you want, just drop it in, than this, uh, Panzer. And I hope to have Jim Day on, uh, on the chit show, trying to get in touch with him, I'm going through Rachel. Rachel's very busy and very accommodating to me. Very, very accommodating. GMT, great support. To me, they've never let me down. So, on Rough Sorbins More Gamer, that's what's happening. General Smitty of Smitty's Game Table. Smitty unboxes. Keep up the fire! 
by Worthington Games. So that's the Boxer Rebellion. I remember it was Stuka Joe um, that introduced me to this game, and I enjoyed it. I bought it. I bought anything that Stuka Joe uh, recommended to me personally, and that's it. This is what's happening on General Smitty's Game Table on Smitty's Game Table. Steven Dolges, NATO designer, a deluxe designer series edition or designer series. I forget what DS stands for. War of Nerves. Peace turns. It's NATO. This is the game by Bruce. Ah, oh, God. I forget his name. But yeah, NATO by Compass Games. On Steven Dolge's channel. Storm of Steel 2 videos and it's Chain of Command, The Great War Battle Report, and a hobby update. Snakes and Napes. Holy moly, on Storm of Steel Wargaming. The one and only. The one and only. Where when a video comes out, we stop and watch and listen. Stuka Joe. A sample example of Phantom Fury game turn example. And here he's got it in, well, it looks Italian, Reglamento. But I don't think it's Italian, I think it's Spanish. I, don't, I forgot how to say it in Italian. But hey, what can I tell you? Le regole. That's it. On the blue tweezers, four videos, all of the same game. And it's the other side of the hill. It's a solo playthrough. And it's the campaign live playthrough. Parts one, two, three, and four on blue tweezers. The board game chronicles, two videos, Assault Sicily 43, an unboxing, an overview, and Hands of the Sea, a preview. Hey, I like that, uh, that cover. Very VUCA-ish cover, but not really, but really. On the Board Game Chronicles. Chronicle, I should say. The Bunker. Four videos, and it's World in Flames. Uh, uh, classic Edition plus Day of Days. Three. Uh, so this is playing four videos, are, and he's playing the same game. And he starts in September and goes to... September of 38 and goes to June of 39 on Der Bunker. Cody, Cody, I'm sorry. Something happened last week. I don't know how. You're all, you, you do videos all the time, man. No, eh, no mi culpa. No, no, no. Eh, life, life, okay? Cody of the Discriminating Gamer and his friend, Ray. Three videos, I'm on fun. Eight videos, what three videos? This guy doesn't do three videos. <clears throat> he looks at Gettysburg 1863 by Worthington Publishing. Then the Lord of the Rings, Duel for Middle Earth, unboxing with Ray. And then War Story, Occupied France, Mission Zero, the Jersey Spy. And then Star Trek, Entry Unknown, Federation versus Dominion, Corsair unboxing. Then War Story, Occupied France. And then Star Trek Captain's Chair Unboxing with Ray. And Top 10 Games Cody Won't Play Without the Expansion. That's interesting. Then Thunder Road Vendetta, Carnival of Chaos Unboxing with Ray. I love that. On the Discriminating Gamer. That fantastic Korean war uh, reliving by Indy Nidell. God, I can't speak anymore. The Korean War 23, the Eagle versus the Dragon. November 26, 1950. You know, man, um, North Korea almost completely, they invaded South Korea and they had like 2% more land to take and they would have had the whole peninsula. But then the Americans came in, bang, and they we're gonna go all the way to North Korea right up to the border of China to take North Korea and take the whole peninsula but no that's not what happened but you know what watch the Korean War with Indian Idol trust me I really enjoy it obviously the name of the game two videos how to play Stalingrad and 
Panzer Blitz Thursday. I like that. The Battle of Visma. Visma. That's it. The Battle of Visma. On the name of the game. The gentlemen of the Farmer's Aid. I keep saying that. The Player's Aid. Four videos and then interview with Sam London. He's got the new tactic. Dick's game on the P500. I forget what it's called, but it's uh, dice influenced. And then the unbox Purple Haze by Phalanx. And the interview Flora Copo from Nuts. Flora! And then they review Savannah by GMT. And that's Mark Miklos. Yeah, on the player's seat. Gimpy of the Gimpy Gamer 1 video and it's Armor Brigade 2, a preview. Remember I said Jan Heinemann is playing that too? So is Gimpy. Tony of Tony's Board Life is playing Panzer Grandier, Heroes of the Soviet Union, a 10-15 turn. And he says, let's see what happens on Tony's Board Life. The Hugh Hefner of War Games. Warty Road plays World War II and he's playing a Grand Tactical Series Strike Counter Strike Scenario 1 After Action Report. I hope I'm right. It is the Grand Tactical Series. <laughs> I didn't see it up there. God, I'm good. The cop. That is Wayne Hansen. Here goes. Yeah, I'm a cop. I'm a good cop. I'm a damn good cop. <laughs> Two videos, both on the same, and it's about well, same subject, I should say. And let's play Corvette Command, Solitaire, and then he reviews it. The verdict is in. Wise guy history, look at him. 5,000 subscribers update, and thanks. You're damn right, man. You deserve it, my friend. You put work into that. Plus, game comparison. War of the Rings versus Star Wars. Rebellion versus Dune. War for Arrakis. Really? All right, there, wise guy. You know, how can I gotta say, for our Polish viewers, Wojnek TV, Michel has two videos, and it's Twilight Imperium. Uh, is this volume four? I don't know. It's written in Polish, and then he's unboxing Harrow County. On Voynek TV. Cutesy Bootsy! Zilla Blitz, three videos. Purple Haze overview a game of tactical combat in Vietnam. Plus, first Monday in October overview. Board historical game by Fort Circle Games. And VUCA Games task force impressions uh, and review of World War II naval combat. Eh? Pushing cardboard is on it. What can I say? And we have Assault Games. It's a sit rep, November 20, 24. Hey, he's the owner of Assault Games. There we put a face to a box, to a company. Ah. Charlie Charles Latora, four videos. Compass the battle for Germany. No CRT, no chits. First read rule, then. Come on, take it easy, Charles. You know what I'm saying? And then my Napoleonic adventure. On land, cardboard and miniature. Also, what he's working on before the phone shuts off. What the heck, he says? Ah. Yeah, Charlie, I, got, I know what you're saying. Then an update, France 40 is ready. Need to set up counters, also tiles for 6 millimeter in process. Charles. Uh, let's listen to the logic of this, okay? Six millimeter. When I was younger, my eyesight was real good. And I would do... Um, when well, my wife is bouncing up and down there. Yes? I'm gonna go for a walk in the woods. Uh, okay. She's gonna go for a walk in the woods. That's the kind of girl she is. She's a wood girl. Anyways, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah! Six millimeter. Uh, uh, Charles. Can I call you Charlie? Actually, Charlie's two syllables. It's long. Can I just call you Char? Listen, Char. 
when I was younger, yeah, we had uh, better eyesight. Now, the thing is, is that you, personally, you're getting older. Obviously, we're all getting older. And you're going smaller in terms of painting miniatures. What did you think I was saying? It happens anyways. Anyways, um, what's, what's up with that? Charles. Char. Char. Come on. Help me out here, man. Huh? Give me some hope. On Charles LaTorre's YouTube site. Black Jerry. another week another show thank you for watching please like subscribe and support this channel you know I have uh, started a new routine with um, no enemies here in terms of recording editing and all that so I work part-time and semi-retired um, and uh, I specifically took Friday off so I can do this and so I devote my Fridays uh, where I could have worked my choice and um, I do the show and I enjoy that and I try to do the show uh, in the mornings when I have an excessive amount of energy and um, provide a better uh, no, no. <laughs> Provide better what? I'm me, I'm me. It ain't gonna change. So, thanks to my contributors and have a nice day. That's all. Eh, my wife went to walk in the woods. Did she ask me to go along? No. I'll see you later.